welcome back now in this video we will simply retrieve the data right from the firebase firestore right from the collection of a user so let's go now and start working on that below this app bar in here we will have a body so in here body and then we will go with the stream builder like we did in the search job screen so in here stream builder and then less sign and greater sign there we go and right in there you will have a query snapshot there we go now right i'll sort of it in here parentheses and take this down now in there we will provide the stream and right in the stream we will create an instance okay so in here you will say firebase firestore dot instance right to the collection of users as i told you already so what i'll do now remove that comma and I'm gonna take this down from here so that you guys can see it easily now right after we will simply say dot var okay I'll take this down in here I will simply say string and in there name okay comma and then we will say where name is greater than or equal to to the search query there we go okay only in that case we will get the data so now in here we will say dot snapshot in here comma and that is it scroll down now in here simply we create that instance as you guys can see firebase fire store right to the collection of a user where name going to be greater than or equal to the search query that the user will enter right in here like we did in the search job screen then we will show the required data for the user according to their search now right down below in here we'll have builder let's provide that and in there it's going to take contacts now asynchronous snapshot okay in here asynchronous snap short object snapshot type and in here provide comma that is fine as you guys can see now in here curly braces and remove that comma from here now take this down and write in this curly braces what i'll do i'll simply set the if condition and now we will check if snapshot dot connection state if that equal to a connection state dot waiting if there's going to be any waiting then what I'll do simply I'll return center widget right in the center of the screen we will show the circular progress indicator so in here child and then we will have that circular progress indicator in here parenthesis write it and semicolon now provide the const modifier so the yellow line will be gone then cut it from here and paste in front of center widget as you guys can see there's the working of if as you guys can see right in here now else what we will say else if in here and parenthesis then we will say snapshot dot connection state if that's equal to the connection state dot active if it's going to be active then in that case what i'll do also i'll check if parenthesis in here and then we'll say snapshot dot data with a null check and then we'll say dot docs documents and also we'll say is not empty is that it's simply me that if snapshot dot data dot documents is not empty so if the data will not be empty then what we will do we will simply get the data with the total length okay and above that the connection state must be active okay then write in here calibrasis and take this down so we will return like we did in the search job screen in here we will have list view dot builder there we go it's going to take the item builder we will provide that just in a while for now in here 
put it and take this down and in here first we will provide the item count and right in the item count what you will see we will simply provide data with the total line so in here snapshot let me just write it there we go dot data with another check and then we say dot docs document dot with a length that is fine now let's move further in here we will say item builder now let's provide that in here let's have that build contacts type build contacts object and then we will create the index so we will get the data with the specific index okay like we did in the search job screen so in here create that integer type index now remove that comma and here call the braces take this down in here now what I'll do I'll simply return what the widget design that we just created before all workers widget guys okay the widget that we just implemented right in the previous video in which we implement the design so in here it's gonna take that as you guys can see right in here but now I'll just remove that and one by one I'll add so that you guys just don't get confused in that in here semicolon and take this down first we will get the user ID so in here user ID and then I'll simply get it we will say snapshot dot data with a null check dot docs with a specific index in there and let's get that user ID so in here the user ID gonna be the ID that is the key name right in the Firebase Firestore right in the collection of a user let me also show you that right in the user collection right in the Firebase Firestore so that you guys can get the idea I have already showed you the result right in the previous videos okay let's go now I'll show you one more time so we are in the Firebase now I'll go towards the Firebase Firestore database there we go click upon that now we will go towards the user collection okay it's just loading now there's a user collection and right inside that as you guys can see that key name ID okay that is going to be the user ID so the key name right in here it must be same also in here and also in the app okay or otherwise it will not get the data if it's not the same let us go back to the app now back again in here so we successfully get the and retrieve the ID and it's going to be right inside the user ID okay so if you guys just press the control and left click on the mouse right on this user ID it will take you right to this all workers widget okay there we go in here we will receive it okay that user ID username one by one in here we will receive it and you guys already know right in this we just implement the design okay right in the previous video okay there you go with the card and right inside that all of the working as I explained this in detail before okay so there's the design in here we will receive it so I hope you can get the idea now let's close this for now and let's get the remaining data let's get the username now so in here we will say username now I'll just get it for time saying what I'll do I'll just simply copy that from here copy it and in here I'll paste it I'll just change the key name in here you will say name make sure guys I am telling you again the name right in here that key name okay it must be same also in here and also in the firebase if it's not it will not get the data so let's move further now let's get the user email so in here let's get it provide the key name in here it's gonna be email it's already email okay guys right in the firebase fast right in the collection of the user so now let's get the phone number past that and let's provide the key name key name is phone number now we are left with the user image URL let's get that key name in here user image let me just make sure of this if it's user image or user image URL it's user image okay it's fine let's go back back again in here so we successfully get the data okay 
and it's gonna be right inside that one by one and it is gonna simply pass that right to the all workers widget right to the design okay as I showed you the result already now let's move further what I'll do so there's the working of if now below this right in here we will say else right in the else what I'll say I'll simply return center widget in here semicolon and tag this down child and save text widget in their string and I'll say there is no user provide the const modifier so right in here as you guys can see that is F if the connection step that's active okay as you guys can see right in here and also we check that the data must not be empty okay if it's not empty and connection state is active then we will get that data as you guys can see as I explained this before okay and otherwise if the connection state is not active and also there will be no data then we will run this else okay right in else we will say there is no user as you guys can see that text right in the center widget and if there is going to be any unknown error what I'll do in here I'll return center widget in here semicolon for unknown error guys in here child let's say other text widget and in there string we will say something went wrong that is fine in here put comma and take this down now let's do some style for that so as usual text style font weight we will go with a bold one comma font size we will set it to 30 in here provide the const modifier so all the working has been done and we successfully retrieve the data right from the Firebase Firestore as you guys can see that instant right to the collection of users and where the name will be greater than or equal to the search query that the user will enter and I have explained this in detail I hope you can get the idea now now what I'll do I'll just simply 